Wishing all of you a happy and prosperous 2014. Uh, in 2014, we are happy to launch our uh, equity uh, savings scheme uh, for investors. Uh, the scheme is a closed-end scheme with a three-year lock-in. And uh, we believe that uh, this is a good time to actually consider such a scheme. We believe that the best time to invest in equities is when uh, industrial production data is very low and when GDP growth is very low. Uh, we looked at the data for the last 15 years and found that the best period to invest was when GDP growth is low and industrial production is low. This has worked not only in countries like India but also in countries like uh, United States. So we believe that the valuations are at fair value at this point of time and uh, the sectors other than technology, pharma and FMCG uh, look undervalued at this point of time. The small and mid caps also look undervalued. The sentiment, from a sentiment point of view, we believe that investors should invest when sentiment, investor sentiment is bad. Uh, currently, we have seen over six years when investors have not invested in equity and therefore we think a sentiment indicator is reasonably positive. Uh, obviously, the triggers for the current year would involve elections, it would involve uh, the, an improvement in industrial production indicators uh, because we are seeing the bottom at this point of time. And uh, we believe that as long as our current account deficit is low, Fed tapering will not be an issue. But in case our current account deficit increases, we'll have to worry about Fed tapering. When we were investing the uh, value series fund, uh, we actually thought uh, that uh, we were getting large cap stocks for investing in the value series one. So a fund uh, which was exclusively focused on the large caps, we thought for the investors because we found the large cap st stocks for investment in the value series one and two. See, this would be a three year closed ended fund uh, which invests in a focused in 20 to 25 stocks. Uh, we, we believe that uh, this fund can provide uh, long-term appreciation by identifying companies which are likely to see ROE go up in the next three years. We would be identifying the stocks where ROE is at the bottom which can go up over the next three years helping the stock prices to go up. Uh, we, we would not want this fund to be a benchmark centric fund and therefore we would actually be focusing on the right stocks while at the same time being adequately diversified. Uh, the, the Focus Blue Chip is a benchmark centric fund where we, uh, where we pick up stock picking uh, within the benchmark sector where, uh, in different cases. In the top 100, we follow a top down approach to the, to the fund and uh, in this fund actually we will be looking at sectors where the return on equity has come down and because it is a three year closed ended fund we would be looking for sectors where we believe on a three year basis the, uh, the return on equity would expand giving scope for stock market appreciation. The word return on equity itself means that you have a situation where it is the return that accrues to the shareholder. So obviously the return on equity is what accrues to the shareholder, obviously that would be the most important indicator. Uh, however, uh, we see a fair amount of correlation between return on equity and the real GDP growth rate and as market share increases normally leads to higher ROE. Similarly, as margins go up, it leads to better ROE and these actually effectively reflects itself in stock prices. So what return on equity means is increase in shareholders wealth and therefore it's one of the most appropriate methods of in investing. <laughs> ROE is obviously the main factor because uh, the ROE itself accounts for what we need that is what it accrues to the investor. So consequently that would be the main factor. Having said that we would be looking at uh, what the management is going to be doing, how the balance sheet quality would be when we are looking at these stocks but we believe that if I had to look at one indicator return on equity would satisfy the uh, benchmark reasons. <laughs> Uh, 
there could be many factors which help in uh, improvement in ROE. We expect given that there is an election, there's possibility of regulatory changes. There's possibility as industrial production goes up, there will be an economic leverage which leads to return on equity increase. The industry dynamics could play a role in many of the sectors which are getting consolidated. And we could have company specific sectors which also help in uh, improving ROA because there's a specific problem in management or something else in a specific company which can also improve over the three year period. So we believe there's an opportunity for investors to invest in equity considering over the last six years people have been redeeming from equity and we would request you to consider this option for investing ahead of elections. Thank you very much. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.